What's up guys? Back here for another video. Today I want to talk about guys approaching women on the street and how to do it. Um, there's not really any gimmicks to it. After literally doing it thousands of times, I've come to realize that it's not really what you say when you approach, but it's, it's how you conduct yourself when, when you approach them. So you, you can pretty much say anything, but it's the way you approach and the way in which you present yourself. So my way of approaching is very direct. It actually matters a lot about how you approach. So when you're walking up to a girl, you should never approach from behind. Or I see some guys approaching from behind and tapping them on the shoulder or you know going alongside them and like bending down to their level it just shows real weakness when you do that or especially when you tap them on the shoulder it surprises them and it's real goofy it just doesn't look good um, so you should always approach if you're coming from behind, you should be at least one or two steps ahead of them before you say something. You should never call at them when you're behind. It just it just looks bad, it looks weak, it doesn't look good. Um, these kind of things make a difference. Um, you just want to approach in a kind of a very relaxed calm way where you're not really showing any nerves or anything it's really hard to to fake that that really takes practice that's the thing that's what i'm saying it's, it's there's no gimmicks to this this just takes practice and i really think it, it doesn't matter what you say it's how you say it and how you present yourself What's going to get you the number is how you look and how you present yourself and how much of a of a basically a cool guy you are. If you come up and you're all nervous and you're just like stuttering and you don't know what to say, it's just it's just very serious turn off for women. The thing is, these women are the ones that are going to be nervous and awkward. The thing that they find really attractive is when you aren't nervous or awkward. It's when you're just, you're so relaxed about the whole encounter that you put them at ease. That's what's attractive. And that takes practice. It's really hard to fake that. Um, you just You just have to keep doing it and figuring out for yourself how to do it. Over time, you, you'll start to realize that it's not what you say, it's how you, how you say it. So for me, I usually come up and say, hey, well, I call it the compliment introduction question. And usually after complimenting them on whatever, on their on their style, I usually say I like your style because it's so it's so simple. It's you know it's just it's just something it's just an opener to break the ice. And um, there's no reason to complicate it. Like I said, there's no gimmicks to this. It's just simplicity. You got to keep it simple, you know. And usually when you use a compliment you're gonna know by her body language whether she's into it or not. Some girls will just ignore you, completely ghost you, that's fine. I mean, that's just saves, saves everyone's time. 
Um, some girls will like, you know, they'll just be really cold. They might respond, but you know, they're, they're cold, you know? Um, and the girls that, the girls that are interested will always smile. Almost, almost always, they're always going to at least smile. And that's when you know, you introduce yourself. And if she responds to that, then you just ask her a question. What are you up to today? What are you doing? Are you, are you busy now? You know, it could be anything. If you've gotten that far and you're just like them to get a number, you can just come clean and say, hey, uh, you know, I like uh, the reason I want to talk to you is I like your style. Let's uh, have a drink sometime if you're free. There's no gimmicks. It is what it is. You're just, you're clearly just trying to get her number. She knows what's up. That's why I said there's, there's no need for any, any, any gimmicks or any, any fakeness, you know? You just do it. It's a numbers game then. As long as you're looking sharp, you're looking fly, you're feeling good, you're feeling energetic. You don't have that stink of thirst on you. You, you know, the thing is, I like to call it the sweet spot. The sweet spot is when you're motivated, so you're 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 horny basically. You've you're you've a high libido, so you're you have motivation to approach girls. And but at the same time, you're not stinking the thirst. The thirst is when it's really obvious that you're not getting getting laid. Um so the sweet spot is when you when you are getting laid and when you have the motivation to find new girls. This is when you'll be on fire. Because you'll know you know yourself that you're getting laid. And this will just subconsciously come across to these women. I don't know how, but it just does. You know, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. It's just subconscious communication. So yeah guys. It's about Subconscious communication. That, that if you have that confidence, that's going to really benefit you. And if you're not getting laid, you gotta fake it till you make it. You gotta really, you gotta just keep trying until until you basically. And it only it only takes one. You can turn things around with just getting one lay. If you get one lay under your belt, this can create the momentum. And this can change everything for you and give you that confidence and it will snowball from there. So it's, it's really easy to get that momentum, you know, because you only need, you only need to get lucky once, you know, and then it will just, you know, you'll notice it will, it will keep happening if you keep, if you keep trying, it just, it just takes effort. You know, I didn't start doing this till I was 26. 26 and like I never ever did day game before before 26 now I'm 31 and ever since I started doing it it worked you know this this thing this does work and when you when you start getting getting laid from from doing day game there's no going back because you, you see the environment in a different way you know but yeah the, the main point of this video is is to say that it doesn't really matter what you say, it's how it's how you approach. All right. So you got to work on your on your just on your numbers, and you got to you got to figure out in what situations are you are you having luck. You know, it's really important. It's really important to dress well. Obviously, you got to try and you got to try and look nice. If you feel more confident when you when you dress better then you're going to come across as being more confident. I mean, these girls pretty much decide within the first few seconds whether they're going to give you the time of day or not. So you should be trying to look, you should have a look about you that you're confident about. Yeah, so once, once you're happy about how you look, you just, you just got to keep approaching. Approach confidently, shoulders straight, shoulders out. You know, and just compliment, introduction, question, and then just just get the number and bounce. Unless you're gonna try and do a uh, an immediate 
day is the day. Another thing I want to say is hesitation is the mother of all fuck-ups. Don't hesitate. Hesitation is, is missed opportunities. That's not to say that you shouldn't strategically approach. Approaching in the correct way is important, but when you when you're constantly hesitating and then and then you let it let it go and, and you make an awkward approach, then that's not good either. You should try and act. When you when you see a moment, when you see a good opportunity, don't hesitate. Just go. It takes two minutes. It takes less than two minutes. You know what I mean? It takes no time at all. Just approach, try and get the number. If she doesn't she doesn't give you the number, if she if she goes to, who cares? Yeah. Um yeah, so when you strategically approach, try not fucking rain in now. But um try not make it look like you're you're posted up or that you're you're obviously trying to, you're obviously gaming girls. I mean, like I am right now, just waiting on the corner. If, if, if chicks see this, that I'm just waiting on the, on the corner, it looks obvious that I'm, I'm, I'm doing, you know, I'm trying to pick up chicks. It looks kind of sleazy, even though I am sleazy, but whatever. So yeah, you should, you shouldn't be like seen to be standing around the same area with nothing to do. You should try and approach. You should you should be on the move basically when you're when you're going places. It just looks better, flows better. You know what I mean? I talked about that before. It's always better to do day game when you have something to do. Strategically approach. Don't approach. Rush up behind someone, tap them on the shoulder. That's goofy as fuck. You gotta you gotta just don't touch at all when you're when you make it when you make an approach. Just get two steps ahead ahead of them at least, and compliment, introduction, question, boom. If you get that far and she's still paying attention to you, just come clean. Uh, I like your style. Let's have a drink sometime. Let's hang out. Let's have a coffee, and try and get the number. If she doesn't play ball. Whatever. Move on. Always. Oh, Every girl that I've had success with, none of them play hard to get. None of them, like, hesitate to give me their number. You know what I mean? It all flows, you know? So you got to get girls that are interested. So you, you want to be looking for the chicks with high interest. All right? So, yeah, guys, it's a numbers game. If you're not in, you can't win. Um, practice makes perfect, you know? Just get out there. Look and fly and just make some approaches. It works. There's, it's not a rocket science. It's not a rocket science. It's fucking nature. It's really not that hard to do. It just takes perseverance. You know? All right, guys. That's, that's just all I wanted to say for today's video. So, like, as usual, like, comment, subscribe. All right? Peace.